Let's look at the book of 2 Kings chapter 6 from verse 26. 26 to 29. 2 Kings chapter 6 from 26 to 29. 2 Kings chapter 6 26 to 29. And the king of Israel was passing by upon the wall. Dear cry a woman unto him saying, Help, my Lord, O king. Verse 27. And he said, If, if the Lord do not help thee, hence shall I help thee out of the bound floor or out of the wine press. Verse 28. And the king said to her, What alayed thee? Why are you crying? And she answered, This woman said unto me, Give thy son that we may eat him today, and we will eat thy son tomorrow. Verse 29. 29. So we boiled my son and did eat him. Very painful story. And I said to her the next day, give, at the, the next day, give thy son that we may eat him. And she had hid her son. The woman told the man, the king, he said, because of the scarcity, because of this, the famine, hunger in the land, he said, I have a son and this woman have a son. We decided, we bargained, we made an agreement. Let's eat each other's sons to survive and extend our life. Very painful story. That's to say anything that, that is on the face of the earth that could be consumed has been consumed. Nothing was left. And the first one agreed. Have the mind to bring her own son. They killed and they eat. They ate. He said, but the next day I called her and said, now is your son. That one said, I changed my mind. I not do again. And the Bible said, she hid her son and refused to yield to the first agreement. Now this morning, I want to talk about the danger of famine. What is famine? Fem are you there with me? Remind, are you there with me? What is famine? Famine is a time when what you need is never available. The spirit of Fema. Because this is what made these two women to bargain and enter the agreement to eat their own children. So I believe the enemy put hand in that problem. But I'm here to let you know, even if there is any power that is on assignment to take your life because of hardship, today we conquer that power. Because when there is famine, my people think otherwise. People will be tired of living. People can easily commit suicide out of frustration. You know, they say there's a level of hunger that can beat a man or beat a child. It will turn to sickness with the cocoa shock, right? And when that sickness was in the land, a lot of people died. And the answer was, it was the cost of famine, scarcity. What was needed for man to survive was not available. But this morning, that spirit is rebuked out of your life. And let me still talk to somebody. Maybe because of what you are going through, the scarcity of granary, you are thinking otherwise. No. Tell yourself, it never, it, 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 it have never gotten to that level. Because no matter what you are experiencing in life, it is still important that you stay alive. Did you hear what I said? No matter what you are going through in life, it's still important that you stay alive. Yes, it's important. It is important you stay alive. No matter what you are going through. No matter what you are going through, your life is important. If the devil tell you that it's over with you, tell the devil, shut up, you have not seen anything. After this, my miracle is about to show. 
I wish I can hear your amen. Yeah. If the devil tell you, say, it's better to give up, tell him, no, I'm seeing good things ahead of me. You can't give up. I say you can't give up. Yeah. It is your problem that will give up. Yeah. If I hear your amen, your problem will give up. Yeah. It is your sickness that will give up. Yeah. It is scarcity that will give up. It is hardship that will give up. Shout it, I can't give up. Yes, yeah, so now problem, now sickness, barrenness, disappointment that will give up, not you. Hear this. I hear that witches and wizards they do drink blood. But not every blood. I hear what I'm saying. Talk to me. I say, not every blood. Now imagine those two women agreed. Bring your son. They agreed though. Let's perceive that there are two witches in the same coven. Who made up their mind because they are used to killing people. And the first one brought her own son. But reaching the second one, the mama changed mind. Now hear this. If I may interpret that part of that verse 29. I will interpret it that that so-called young child, that son has oil on him. There are people, no matter how you do meeting to kill them, that meeting, you go do and finish, but you cannot carry it out. You didn't hear what I said. I said there are people you go do meeting, talk how you want, to, but the day of the assignment, something will happen. It's either the enemies on the run or the road, no go. You didn't hear what I said. And I stand on this altar, if there's any meeting they did in any coven this year, and said they will get you down on any highway, they will get you down in any midnight. As you turn that amen, we scatter that meeting. Did you hear what I said? I said, if there is any set of anywhere programmed, they say you go lose anyone this year, you will die this year. Lift up your hand, shout, Father. Every demon is looking for blood. In the name of Jesus, you will not see me. You will not see my mother's children. Declare that prayer in a few seconds. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Sit down. And that boy was not killed, but one was killed. You, no matter how the battle look like, you will escape. Did you hear what I said? No matter how hot is the battle, hear me, not everybody they can kill. The woman suddenly changed her mind. That day, he told that one, said, it's a way too that I follow, eat your own, but this one, I changed my mind. Nobody say hunger, no, they beat me again, but I suddenly cannot. Oh, that boy carried oil. Now, the same mama we agreed to kill her and went to hide her. Do you know what it means? When God is on your side, your enemy will help to protect you. Oh. And I decree there is someone under the sound of my voice. No matter how they pass their bill, no matter how they judge their matter, it will not hang your head. It will not catch your head. It will not catch your head. Shouting, I have already escaped. I pray for a woman who traveled some years ago on her business trip. He called me, I prayed, I said, you are protected. I sent his angel ahead of you. While they were inside the motor, one woman was making mouth, they, like he's praising the devil because he's a diabolical person. They never knew her from Monicha, the company. And suddenly there was an accident. You know a man sang a song, say, okay, you want me to do it, I want you now guess what the woman where they make man with her juju with her power this one said he said in her mind she left, nobody was talking to her it's he, she and her friend they did talk inside the motor he said but he told her he, she was telling to her said, i know the god i serve i don't belong to all those things and i believe i'm protected and no do, no do. Before they get to Abu, there was a heavy accident. Pooh! Now she the middle. Death pick up. All the things where he boast. How can death kill who the middle? You know, kill who they by the side. If there is danger when there is an accident, who they near window? Gonna dare you can easily. But he, she that was at the middle died instantly. No, no injury at the body. 
the power she carried failed her. Who knows whether or not she manipulated the thing? Because they said the world was praising the devil. Say, not the other one where they go to they make noise. Like, say, get who two of them have quarrel. But God, who know how to set exam, set exam. And the exam was too high. He did not go do review. He didn't read at all. <coughs> she fell exam. And they, all of them were shocked. Not that the motor even spoiled. They had to rush her out of her, the vehicle. She didn't make it. And the journey, the same vehicle carried the rich beneath. Switch your hand. I pass decree. In the name that is above every other name, you will escape. <laughs> Sit down. Now, let me say this. Look at my point one today. Point one. You must contend with the spirit of famine. Now, let me tell you, when there is scarcity, labor is not working again. No. Talk to me. The only thing that can save you that time is your covenant with God. Just be like as neither no day. You can't be boasting of sales or talking how much you will sell when you know people don't have money. At that time, money has already failed. Am I correct? But if, because if you depend on money now, it has but if you depend on what God can do, you still be surprised that God can send somebody you don't know to be a blessing. Talk to me. Yes, even somebody will even come and buy from you. I say this one, I be this car city, no rich his or how. Now let me tell you, there is angel called money. There are angels that carry blessing. And from what the book of Hebrews 13 verse 2 told us, there are angel, physical angels. Now there are spiritual angels. Talk to me. Yes, and I pray for you this year, this week. That angel locates you. Yes, this spirit of scarcity will not get hold of you. Amen. You must contend with that spirit. Fema is a spirit of scarcity. Not having enough. Not having enough. Fema is a time. Your needs are more than your supply. Your needs are more than your supply. You, you, you need one 5,000 naira, but what was available is 1,000 naira. What can it go? Somebody was crying to me recently in one of the villages where you can't find bank. He said, if you withdraw 10,000, they, they will give you 5,000. 50%. If somebody send you 20,000, not 10,000, you will collect. I thought it was story. I said it won't pass. That's to say it's possible you withdraw yourself. Your money go enter charges. You will not carry anything. Go home. So believe it. God is still God. But faith mind is a very dangerous. You must fight against that spirit of faith. We pray with most especially your covenant. He said, I am the Lord, I change it not. In Genesis 26, remember there was hunger, there was scarcity, there was famine. Even uh, Isaac wanted to run, leave the land. But when he consulted God, God said, stay here. This scarcity is to your favor. I think, uh, is there any Isaac in this house? Isaac means a covenant child. And that's to say, scarcity cannot cover you. I, I don't like your amen. God said, don't run, leave. You know how many people, many people don't run leave this nation. No. Many we get power. We, I mean, we get money. I know some family. That's one why they go. He said, "Me will come off first. He said, "Everywhere get as it be." But we, we know they run. Oh, you didn't hear what he was saying. What I'm saying. We are here because there is God here. For he that watched over his night, that sleep let us slumber. But as mountains surround Jerusalem. So it is to his people, even now and forever. Can I hear amen? amen. COVID never finish. He don't finish. I tell you, even though he did, but the pressure and all is no more a matter. The last time when I bought it this year, I'll be the first time I went to 
Because even when you don't see COVID anywhere, if you go bank, you go see them. If you go airport, even when you want to fly, they will say, make sure you don't remove this thing until you come down. But I was shocked. This last one, I traveled. Hey. When I got to the airport, I just, when I come down, I discovered saying only me. Now I quickly remove the thing. Even the cabin crew, nobody carry face mask. I say, <laughs> not dream of the dream. Nothing that has beginning that does not have end. Even at COVID, you go sit down like this. Then they hug that time. I was talking to them in the second service when we dedicate baby yesterday. You know, since COVID now, we don't allow people during dedication to stand close because of the way we normally do it before. Because if not during dedication that time, before COVID, if you feel like joining the Thanksgiving, you dance, follow them, we'll go near body each other. So yesterday I told them, say, I said, that Lord don't know the again. No. May we worship God normal. That time, who did they shake? For oh, where? Yeah. But something happened during that COVID. Something happened. I love people who understand grace and believe grace. You want that damn middle when there, there, there's the restriction. I finished where I called one of my son. I said, Look at what God told me. Hey, remember? He? And I finished praying. I heard God say, I should give him the handkerchief I used that time. Which, you know, during the COVID, some people who are not too holy who tell you, say, oh, God, carry your handkerchief. <laughs> he will never tell you, say, it's a mantle. Are you hearing what I'm saying? But today it has ended. And I'm here to let you know whatever we are going through now, you will see the end. Before your eye, it will turn to testimony. It will become a miracle. I know some of you say this year, how will it look like? Let me tell you, God is gathering things for you. At the right hand, the harvest will show up. But famine is a speed, a time when your needs are more than your supply. Famine is a period you see people spending money around you. But they never remember. You'll be asking, is my own different? But let me tell you, no matter how it be, some people still get this money. Do you know that? Talk to me. Oh, you didn't believe it. Some people still have it. If they don't have it in our local currency, they have it in foreign currency. Talk to me. And you must believe that. And I believe that if you agree with me, heaven is going to transfer and give you. Now, what happened at that time when this woman cried to the king? The land was besieged at that time. The land at that time was besieged. And to be besieged means to be hostage. They were whole hostage. Nothing comes in and nothing goes out. So there was no means of supply anywhere. That was why that prophecy in chapter 7 was very strong. Elisha said, by this time, tomorrow. Now, that's to say, the key to conquer scarcity, number one, prayer and the word of God. Number two, you talk about covenant, which is your giving with God. Number four, the last one is strong word, which is the word of God. Decree. Don't look at the condition. Don't look at how the economy looks like. Speak your mind. Did you hear what I said? What was my topic yesterday in the first and second service? What was my topic? You don't even forget. You know, come church yesterday. Prophesy, to prophesy means speak to that situation. Don't allow what you are seeing to discourage what is in your mind. Don't decree what is available. Declare what you are looking for. Say it the way it is from your mind and allow the rest for God. And if your faith is strong, heaven will back it up. Can I hear your amen? Yeah. We are about to pray and you must declare it. I cannot end my life like this. Even if they say I will die, I will not die. Even if they say I'm stranded, I am not stranded. My, I, say, I say, I am the children whom the Lord has given to me. We are made for signs and wonders. I don't care to know who is involved in your matter. I don't care to know who is there, but the word of God is stronger than them. And that's why you must always say something. Elisha didn't look at all these things that they were hosted. There was, nothing was coming. No importation. No plant anywhere. He said, by this time tomorrow. Huh? 
Verse 2, the, the, the servant to the king doubted him and said, man of God, don't deceive us. Even though God will open the windows of heaven and pour down blessing, how shall it be? And the man of God turned again and said to him, the second part of the prophecy, you will see with your eyes. He said, but you will not eat from, the, from it. And if you go back to that chapter 7, from verse 18 to 19, the miracle happened. When the, king, the man who challenged the prophecy said, how can this be? Went there to see whether not true. As he got there, because the people had been hungry, they threw part in their numbers. But guess what? Upon their number, both the children who came out to see the food and collect food, people that have been hungry, none of them were captured. It was the man who came from the king, who is second to the king's command. They pushed him down. And the people threw up, threw upon him. They used leg to match him to death. For the prophecy of the man of God to be fulfilled. He was the only one who died. Others, he saw the food but did not eat from it. I stand on this altar. Whoever that would doubt to this year, they will not see your miracle. If there is anybody who can hand for what you are going through, as you rise up thunder, amen, may they carry their load. Now stand to your feet. There are three things I want us to pray. Number one, scarcity. Somebody say scarcity. Now let me tell you, you see, nobody pray to experience famine in life. This is a situation where you see big man go to complain, poor man go to complain. But I tell you, there is an answer to it. The word of God is stronger than famine. It's stronger than scarcity. Shall the Father, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke every spirit of famine. Every spirit of scarcity. Now wait. Even if money still come out, there are some people, money know they reach their hand. Talk to me. Even though they say money, even before the scarcity, there are some people who have been in scarcity for more than five years that they don't have money in their pocket. There are times when they see people handling money like this, they'll say, we are these people, they make this kind of money. I was somewhere one day, years back, I saw a man the way they dash people money was different from the way I know they dash people money. Even at my own level that time, if I want that shoe, I go take speed, count them. They should say, if I be my mistake, give you two pieces. I want, I want to give you. He go pay me. Say, I don't forgive you. But I saw this man, if he put him for bag, anything where he draw, come out. Anything where he draw, come out. He go bring a bottle of money, go tear like this. If you are lucky, you get 20,000. Now you know. If, he, if he's led to give you one bundle like this, I say, huh? Now suddenly so share money. And this man I knew before, things were too hard. Suddenly somebody introduced him into contract work. He began to work and God favored him. You see, man, who they hawk newspaper become a multi millionaire. He said, God, no day. I'm telling you, I witnessed that man selling paper for Shudi. I know him who I'm talking. I saw, the last time I saw him, he was selling newspaper. They sleep for person shop. We are person, they sell. Uh, medicine for Mafoloku. Now, there, if you hawk paper for should bridge, they come back in the night, he will go there, go sleep. Then the owner of the shop will go house. He said, Go, they do watch night for them because Nadia, they sleep. So, early morning, before the man will come and open the shop, you know, Lagos, they come out on time. He don't bath. Come out, the owner will take over the shop. So, by the evening, when he will come back, he will come back, he will stay outside. By then, the owner never close shop. He go think, say himself, they hang out and say, One go na lie. He will go down close, say, One come out. He said, go take over the shop. If you see t-shirt, we wear. He don't wash, wash rich neck. How did he meet helper? That's why I tell you, there is power in the world. The man of God released a word to him and said, I saw star. I saw you, you are the star your family is waiting for, but something caged you. He said, but I release you. Now the man of God told him, he said, I don't know how God will remember you, but I see you in no distant time. You know, such prophets, you go say, how will it happen? Person where they hawk newspaper. But do you know what? While he was hawking the newspaper, he met the helper he's looking for. The man stopped and but during uh, the, the, I mean, at the process of hold up, the, a man stretched and said, give me social paper. He gave the man. To call him money now, the thing was difficult because the vehicle moved. But go so kind, he ran. And the man now said, sorry, sorry. Wind down. Remove his glass and look at him. He said, look at me. You know me. He said, no, I don't know you. The man cleared. <laughs> he said, look at me. He now called him name. He said, are you not this one? He said, not me. 
He said, is that what you are doing? They said, so if that was the man, who are you? The man said, look at me, you don't know me. And they went to, they attended the same secondary school. Oh, ay, yeah, ay, yeah, ay, yeah. And they were friends in secondary school before everybody departed because he came from a different community entirely. That one said, is that what you are doing? The man said, no, I can't believe. Upon your knowledge in school, upon how we know you, he said, now here I find myself. That one's okay. I we can't talk much here. Look at my card. Call me or visit me in Abuja. Then there was no GSM. He said, but find somewhere and call me. But if you can't call me, this is the day you can get me. Even though I'm not around. You can, he said, but uh, 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 he said, if I don't call you, he said, if you ever reach there with this card I sign, they will let you see me, even though I'm not around. He didn't know where the man they walk. And he asked the man when the man said, From now to three weeks' time, make out your time. Come, except you love what you are doing. Don't come. If now you go stay. But at times he was scared because this is somebody you don't know, they are not too close. But when you meet helpers, they know they make mouth. Real helpers know they give promise. They take you by surprise. Shall the father I conquer the spirit of scarcity? In the name of Jesus, I cannot continue like this. Pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Now, I want that your amen to be very strong. Now, number two, you are going to pray. There are so many of us. What is holding us is a family power. The vows say, oh, we, we, people will be blessed around us, but we'll be in the midst of blessing, but we'll be experiencing scarcity. Shall the Father. Every altar of my father's house covering me in the name of Jesus. Break all your pray. Any cage, cage covering me, any wall covering me. Break. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Now, do you know what the problem of that young man? He was the first son. It was strong altar for the family that was holding him. Strong altar that was holding him. Put hand on your head, shout the Father. In the name of Jesus. I will never pay for what I don't know. Every place of my father's house, following me, expire by fire. In the name of Jesus. Put him very strong. Now, did you know this young man went to look for this man in Abuja? It was when he got to the place of the walk, he noticed that the man was walking in a very big place. And he's the one in charge. They handle federal contracts. <laughs> he got in there, the man went for meeting. So because he presented the card which the man put his signature they told him and said, you wait here. So he was busy waiting, 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 and he had already filled a form, tell them, told them his, his name. So where he was staying, his higher condition, he was confused, like, now here, the man will leave me for gate, make her see when the man, they say, no, you can't stay there. You, you came to see your guy. So he was inside there, he never know that the man has already come. So they showed the man form he filled. The man said they should take care of him, that he have another meeting. He's not going today. He was there. They came and said, oh God, what do you care for? He said, care for what? <laughs> I never see the guy. He said, relax. Oh God, no, you are here, but you can't see him now. So it was later in the evening when he saw the man, he shouted. And the man said, no, I know you are here, but I've been busy. I want to make out time before I was talk to you. So the man told them and said, they should put him in the guest house of the company. He said, oh God, but we'll never, he said, relax. You want to go back to Lagos? He said, no. He said, you wait. We have an issue to settle. So it was the next day the man told him and said, I don't like the way you are looking, but me giving you money may not be possible, but I will give you work. And look at it. He told him, he said, I will not, the work may not last too long. It may be one year. I will leave you, but if you get sense, it will settle you. So he lectured him on what to do, you know, make sure he give him one or two person who can help him. But he told him, say, if there's anywhere you don't find it, you find it difficult, get back to me. 
and he gave him the first contract. This young man do finish, see money for the first time. He gave him the second one. He did the work. He gave him the third one. Now, let me tell you one thing. He's, he has an uncle who was an engineer. He built that. He went to tell the uncle, please send me go school. I'm your sister's, elder sister's son. The uncle said, who born? Make it train. That was what the uncle told him. The uncle said, Meet your mama. I gave four children to trade. No kind of help. He did not beg that man. He did not respond. That was what made him to go Lagos and started hawking newspaper. Now, when he made money, his father and mother was happened to be old because they didn't give birth to him on time. He knows those couples who marry late and give birth. And they are aged, but no house. They are living in two-room mud house. So when he made money, he went home. I love what that boy did. He called his uncle. The uncle he never see for more than one year. We never ask of him. Because who they let go, they send newspaper and I transport, now you get to Congo. He called the uncle. The uncle said, my, my sister's son. My sister. At the time, he said, my son, my son. Hey, your son now. And he told him and said, build us a house. When the man heard it, he because he's an engineer. He said, build us a house. We need, he now asked, he said, what kind of house? He now told the man, the man draw something on God. He said, Full, go and do the plan, but look at what I want. Look at two sides of apartment, one for the side of the children and one for their, their parents. The man said, this house must be big. He said, yes. He told the man, the man said, can you be, why not start like two rooms? Yes. No, no, they stay because I no get house. He said, no, be two rooms. We are rushing. Now, when the uncle heard, when he told him and said, I, can you deliver this house within three months or less than the man said, if money day, wait here they do. In Papa and Mama day, they watch their son. They didn't even understand what was happening. He told the uncle, say, what is the price of this house? Very big house, but downstairs. The man quoted about four million or five that time. He issued check. Now there in Mama faint, you know, say, my son, don't come out. The uncle come and say, my son, my son, my son. Not be our son now. That thing shocked the family. Even he has uncles who have money. Yo. There are many who are suffering today. Not that they don't have people, but because your parents are poor. Let me tell you, people they honor you for family. Your papa gets something, but if your papa and mama don't get, your uncle extended get. There's limit to the way they will receive you. Go to me right. My I, my uncle, my papa, now your senior brother. Not everybody understand that one. You ask to say, even my senior brother, what did he do for me? Did he pay? So a man called a man because of money called him Opara Okoko. He said, You are first son of foul. We don't get anything. Now, mouth, you get to the coffers from. Stretch your hand. Anything that have attracted insult in your life, may God keep that insult. Yes. Scarcity brings insult. Scarcity. Fame, I attract insult. Do you know what it means? You don't get money to pay house rent. Landlord cannot respect. Even though now you see me on that loan. I saw something when I was in New Benin years back. Those times, December, that time, when you see a cat and a carry BB car, the parade. I saw a man with white hair because he's looking for money. He need that for one small boy. We come from about the column. He don't know, don't know. They need that. I, if I were back, they didn't pay me. If no be money, who is to need that for each other? And the boy said, he be, it's like he know the boy. But yeah, he banged his car. Zuma, who? Hi. I got home, I pray for myself. I don't know the man, but that thing, he, the man, head done the white, me down for a small boy. The greeter. Just make it look my side. Switch your hand, shout the father. I will not need them for my junior. Because of money. You need to say, say, father, I refuse to serve my younger ones. Because of money. That will never be my portion. Put amen very strong.
Finally, you are going to pray. If there is anything fighting the results on your hand, there are some people, if they gather money, problem go full everywhere. If they don't get money, no problem. Shall the Father, every spirit of pocket with holes, fighting me. Da! Wait. Do you understand the spirit of pocket with what? You know, if your pocket get hold, no matter how you put money, you know they stay. Shall the every spirit of pocket with holes, fighting me financially receive fire open your mouth and pray in Jesus name wait you didn't understand that prayer let me show you what I wrote here there are people their life is under a siege Satan monitors any man or anyone that promised them something. If you promise them anything good, that person will start having problems because there is somebody who wants to help. Do you know there are people like that? You carry them as a servant to begin to have problems. The day you remove them, you see your life will begin to get better because there is power that vows say they cannot find help. This one, another one. There are times people tell you, say, come tomorrow, but that tomorrow, they are, these are people who touch money. But the moment they give you promise, door will lock. Shout the Father. In the name of Jesus. I can never be stranded. Now wait. There's one parable they normally do in my, uh, in my language. They said, may you not have me hard who go give me. Is it, is it true? Because if he had you and you have someone to help him, my dear, you are not stranded. But the worst condition a man can find himself is that you don't get and you don't get who one give you. Shall the Father, my helpers will never be stranded because of me. Every power that wants to frustrate me and frustrate my helpers, somebody had a fire three times. It's still also like that in marriage. There are some men who promise some young girls marriage and start having problems. The worst, I, a lady came to me one day, not quite long, from one of the states. He said, over six persons have asked her hand in marriage, getting to the point of introduction. At times, if, almost introduction, but two got to the point of arbitrary introduction, but others almost there, but never got there. And the worst is that they will live without saying anything. So what is the problem? She keep asking. And I asked her, I said, where do you watch me? told me, I said, but have anybody interpreted? He said, no, I'm still finding why. They will come. At the early stage, they will say, I am, if not me, they will die. But at the time, they will disappear and never return. Now, I want to give you a prayer point. Sit down, let me explain this. This prayer, whether even though you are married, pray this prayer. Now, she asked me and said, I want to know what is wrong with me. Why she was talking, the Spirit of God have already interpreted the thing to me. Now, do you know what happened? Anybody who comes from marriage that is serious for her, do you know what happened? They will dream her in a negative way. Now, for example, you are a young man now, you went to marry a lady, and you are dying for love and say, this one, Naim, if not this one, and suddenly, or maybe always, whenever you dream her, you see her wearing masculine chasing you. You see her sucking blood like something that drinks blood. You see her flying like a witch. You go continue, right? Even only once where you go see yourself, you don't carry your shoe for hand. And that was what was happening to her. Nobody came to marry her to have having a good picture of her. Now, what was the problem? When I was talking, he said, Pastor, am I witch? I said, no, let me explain to you. You know what happened? Somebody hold her hostage. You didn't hear what I said. Somebody come and say you cannot marry. Even though 200 come, they, they can't marry you. Nobody could put money for your head. Nobody could carry put for house like a wife. He now asked me, what is the problem? I said, let me explain to you. Who did it use witchcraft power to cover you? Now, do you know there are some mama today, the children abandoned them because of this kind of dream. You didn't hear me. There are some sisters today, you have blood brother who's supposed to help you, but they abandon you without telling you anything. You need to ask why. 
there are things they are saying about you that you don't know. And some of them believe, because let me tell you, even when you come to favor, nobody could help you when you, you, they dream of you that you are not a good person. You, if now you go help the person, talk to me. You promise to help somebody, say, you want to give him money. And you start seeing him that night, they chase you with cutlass, say, come, make I kill you. And you, you run, run, wake up. Then tomorrow you go find money, give him, right? Talk to me, be sincere. And if you, if you tell it to a man of God who don't understand the things of the spirit, who, who is not spiritually deep, he will tell you, say, leave that person. They covered her. Now look at the prayer you pray. No man will use my face to carry out witchcraft assignment. Oh, are you there? Take your seat. Let me explain this. I know my time is gone far. Listen, there's one mama in this city Though she's gone now. That mama cried entire when we are in the other side of the church. This mama served God with all her lifetime. Even though she came out from a family that had problems, a polygamous home. She accepted Jesus and stood her ground. But she was the first wife. They were maltreating her. God so kind. One of two of her children traveled abroad. But before the daughter traveled, she had to sell one or two things she had. The daughter told the mother, said, if I get to Europe and God bless me, you won't suffer again. That lady got to Europe. A white man married her, remarriage, and promised heaven and earth to the mother. It was at that, and he told the mother. The mother was happy. But at the time, this young girl doesn't call the mama again. And he has married her. And when he heard from Oibola, so he go tell and say, mama, I will come Africa. I will come and build your house. Anything you want me to do for you, tell me I'm your son. Mama was like, did they see you go like this? But at the time, the daughter cut off and the husband cut off. Mama, they hear hunger, they beat her. If they hear, say, the daughter, they build house here, they build house here for a year, but she no know. What happened? Uh, not even the thing extended to almost, out of six children, about four of her children rejected her. And the four that rejected her was the one that's supposed to feed her in old age. And people in the family, the mocker, say, upon all your prayers, see your life. Let me tell you, it's a painful story. How can you have children that has money, well to do? She was in rage, she can't pay them. Food, no food. She they sick, if not be one way. And the one taking care of her, no get. The ones that has money, that's supposed to take care of her. Everybody ran away. She came to me. It was one of the daughters who called her one day said, my ear did they catch you witch. He said, I, I, he's, because that one ca called the most senior. He said, mama did that. He said, now because of you, don't ever call me and complain your mama. It's not my mama, it's your mama. He said, now I asked and said, but what is it? He said, that one, one am. Say, don't play with your life. Leave her or may she die. Now I asked and said, okay, explain to me so that I know why I will leave her. He said, okay, that woman is a witch. If you are close to her, you are endangering your life. So if you leave her, I will take care of you. That was what he told the younger one. And that one told the mama, say, look at the problem. Well, you don't know that they catch you, which say, now you, you they fight them. Mama say, I know eat you when you small. I know eat you before you enter Europe. I know, I know, I know fight you when you never, now, now wake up, don't bless you, where you go bless me. Look what no keru rumo honde madana ramoya. Hanya miri echu wo no manya. Gebo papa mwere biko le no manya. Gebo mama mo bika chumbola me. Mama cry. If you see that old woman, though even upon that thing happened, she they preach early morning, carry megaphone, they preach. They go, they mock them. This church, where they go, life from your time. Those who know they go to church, never go through this. He's a prayer. I want to give you one prayer. You need to pray, not just here, go home. At times, anoint your face. Anyone that wants to use my face, carry out a full assignment, may God kill them in a hurry. Now, I pray with her, with the daughter who brought her. Place them on the prayer. God, who knows how to handle matter, handle the matter. In fact, the way God handled that matter, he's with me. Do you know what happened? A young girl of 16 years, or the compound, come to confess. Begin naming a lot of people, but not even that he named them. When they heard the confession, they wanted to be the girl. One elderly man said, wait, maybe we'll hear the whole thing. 
the young girl said, begin call that woman's name at last. He said that was why they, they used that woman's face. Go to carry out assignment. He saw that the children go live and make it die. He said, but fire away the burn and now you know fit to keep quiet because he said follow do the work. That they exchange the EA face for dream. The children see him at time, they go see him like masculine, they go see him like witchcraft, they go see him like bad person who is after them. He said they did it just to separate the woman from the children. And that was why they abandoned him. He said the mama no be witch. But as he talked this in naive, not true. Say me they do so something, do so something. They go see and say, other oh, ones go begin confess, not be only she. They do what they do now. Confession can't enter two people. They said the same thing. They called the girl and said, Come back. And they told the girl. Say they did that thing so that the mama go cause her. Out of anger. But mama said, Upon what has happened, he refused to lay cause against any of them. You see, devil? He goes, Scatter here, scatter here. So the one man there called him. With what they record, they say, Listen, they have exposed what happened. No, I don't even mama if he cause her. Now that one, the daughter is here, now he run, come to Nigeria. He came here and bought a house for Mama Fadoawa. He begged Mama. He said, no be my eye. And that I think after, they now carried her to Europe. Things change. Stand to your feet. Take a seat in your hand. Shout it, Father! In the name of Jesus. I anoint myself with fire. No man will use my face. Carry out evil assignment. Declare my father, my maker. Any man or woman on assignment that wants to use my face to carry out witchcraft activity, I bury you alive in the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer. Come to the altar, drop your seat. Anyone that wants to use my face. To he has done it for me. To be true, has him to be true. To be true, he has done it for me. To be true, has him to be true. Has him to be true. He has done it for me. Declare it. To be chuku. I say to be chuku. To be chuku. He has done it for me. In Jesus' name. Amen. Lift up your hand, shout the Father. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Nobody will use my face to carry out witchcraft activity. Amen. Put hand on your hand, shout on your face, shout it. I poison my face with the fire of the Holy Ghost. No witch. No wizard will use my face to carry out witchcraft activity and succeed in the name of Jesus. Let me hear amen louder. Now, do you know I saw something? I wonder, I saw what I saw. I said, I thought I have seen it all. I went to a church. I ministered the prayer. I gave a woman assignment, a widow. She did that prayer finish. So I, that program was two sections. They invited me two times in that year. So the first one was the time I gave the woman the prayer. When I came back the second time, the pastor said, there's a testimony you need to hear. I said, which testimony? He now brought the woman into my office to tell me what happened after the prayer I gave her 14 days. Guess what? In summary, the landlord confessed, a man, her landlord confessed, he said they borrow her womb. Take, go, go walk. What did man one use womb would do? I'm telling you. The whole street here, that was how they packed out of that house. The man said he was borrowing the woman's womb. 
And the woman said she noticed that her womb was falling off. She, if she, they work out, she noticed her womb, they drop. He said, you don't get money to go to hospital, but he goes to tell her doctor. Doctor say, your womb don't come off a position. He no no say that this ogre. And this one I'm telling you is an old woman. Oh. That woman should go down reach like 60. Put the woman into sickness. Stretch your hand and pass the degree. Nobody will borrow your business. <laughs> no man will borrow your destiny with withdraw power. Shall be father. In the name of Jesus. Why? No man will borrow my destiny. Witchcraft power cannot borrow my miracle. Declare anyone on assignment to borrow what makes me happy. I bury you Allah. In Jesus name. Media give me Genesis 26 verse 12. I want to anoint your hand now. I want you to pray. Two prayer points and let you go. Media fast fast. We have overused our time today. Genesis 26, 12. Then Isaac sold in that land and received what? In the same year. How many fold? Hundred fold. Lord, I bless this oil. Let it become oil of hundred fold. That seed was sown in the midst of scarcity and there was hundred fold harvest. By the reason of this anointing, you watching me there receive hundred fold harvest this year. The economy will not frustrate you. People's wickedness will not frustrate you. In the name of God the Father, Son of the Holy Ghost, I bless this oil in Jesus' name. Amen. Give me another plate so they can anoint the children. Now, you move to the altar now. Move to the altar. Shout that name Jesus three times louder. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Open your two hands. You don't need to carry anything in your hand. I shout it, Father. This hand. Will gather hundred folds. My hands, hear the word of the Lord. Receive grace for hundred fold in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, pray. In business, hundred fold. Maritally, hundred fold.